Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make these really cute sea beach themed um, resin ornaments. It's pretty simple. I'm just going to walk you through the steps. So first thing you'll need is a silicone mold. Now if you look in here, I put a thin layer of resin on the bottom. Just real thin. And I did use the Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat. So you can use multiple different kinds of resin. That just happened to be the one I used. You'll need some sand, some shells, some acrylic paint, and I used some glue. So this is just clear glue. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the sand. We're gonna put some um, glue in the sand to kind of make it chunky. Now, if you're doing this project by yourself, you can also do this with resin. This is how I did it because I did this project with children. So I wasn't gonna give them resin. So you're just gonna stir that till you have some chunky glue. All right, and then that, you can use the stick to go ahead and push this around the bottom to your heart's desire. Get it as flat as you can and I covered maybe a little bit less than half of it, half of my circle with the sand. Okay, good. Once you're happy with that, we're gonna go ahead and go on to the paint. And you can use any acrylic paint. I just have craft paint. We're gonna start with white and then put just a tiny bit in my cup and I'm gonna also mix that with glue because I want it to kind of be a bit translucent. So go ahead and mix that up again. You don't have to add the glue. You could just do straight paint if you want. Totally up to you. I want it to be a little transparent. Okay. So then we're going to just go ahead and put the white right up to the sand there. It's basically a line of white. Good. And then we'll go ahead and we'll do the same thing with blue. Fill in pretty much the rest with the blue. It doesn't have to go all the way to the edge of your circle, but you can if you want, and the kids probably will. Okay. So at this point, I like to have these kind of go together a bit. So I'm going to take a little bit more white and kind of swirl these here on the line. And you can add multiple blues if you want, uh, different shades of blue, whatever you want. You can kind of give it some waves in there. There we go. That looks pretty cool. However you want, you know, get as creative as possible. Another thing that you can do is you can add other things into the water there. Like if you wanted, I'm going to show you this other one that I did. So I used two shades of blue. I used like a turquoise blue and then a navy blue. And I added some beads and some um, chunky glitter into the water. So you can totally do that, especially if you're doing this project with kids. It's good to give them other things to add. Um, they have fun with it. <laughs> Okay, then we take the shells, and we have got thick white paint, thick wet paint there, and sand with glue. So we don't need to do anything else other than just stick them in wherever you would like, around the sand and maybe the white area there. And you can do as many as you like, but about, I think about six or so works well. Okay, a couple more, and it's good to use some different sizes if you have them. 
different colors for contrast. I'm going to put a couple little ones in here. And that is literally it. At this point, we just let this fully dry and then go back in and put another clear layer of resin on top of all of it. So I would let this dry for maybe about a day, then go back in and put a thin layer of clear resin. When that's dry, which is about another 24 hours, you just peel it out and then I drill the hole through here and put the ribbon in. And that literally was it. Very simple, easy project, great to do with the kids. You can use, like I said, multiple colors and different things in there and get different results. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please do not forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.